Uh, my name's Sharon Fadden. I'm a practice nurse one day a week and I'm a public health nurse. Uh, so I work all over the Wirral um, doing health promotion, disease prevention events, uh, nurse training um, to do with blood pressures, hypertension awareness and various other um, public health campaigns. Whatever is current in public health, we tend to do some work on. There's two of us who work on the Wirral. We started working more on the blood pressure campaign. So hypertension awareness um, is a very, very big thing in uh, Public Health England, NHS, Public Health Wirral at the moment. Um, we're trying to get as many people as possible to get their blood pressure checked regularly to know their numbers. High blood pressure is known as the silent killer. Um, people don't usually get any symptoms to warn them that they're unwell. With other illnesses like diabetes or some cancers, people get symptoms and that prompts them to go off to see the GP or the practice nurse. But with high blood pressure, it's very rare that people get any symptoms to warn them. And it's usually, um, they might go for an optician's appointment and the optician sees some little hemorrhages at the backs of their eyes, or they actually have a stroke or a heart attack. And that is often the first sign that they've got this problem. We've been doing events around the Wirral now for about two and a half years both in the community like today or uh, we go into big workplaces and we do health and well-being events but the work we've been doing over the last two and a half years we found that there's about one in three people on the Wirral who've got high blood pressure and don't know they've got it now the national average is about one in four so the work we're doing is really really important because on most events we usually find at least two or three people who've got dangerously high blood pressure and we send them straight off to see their doctor. Once somebody's being treated for it, it's fine, the risks come right down, but it's, it's the danger is when people have got it, they don't know they've got it and they're not being treated. Things like this where we're out in the community, we're chatting to people, you get to meet people, people tell you their stories, their life stories. It is very, you know, it's worthwhile. So we do feel that we are doing some good.